Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Once again, I'm coming to you from CVP's studios in Studley in Warwickshire. And today, actually I'm really excited because today I'm going to answer a question from someone. So why do you choose ASOS shorts and would you recommend them? So great, thank you for the question. Let's get on and answer that. So the first thing is, yes, I was wearing a pair of ASOS shorts in a clip in the last video that I posted, the ASOS S7 T-Equip bib shorts. They're not the only shorts that I wear. And in fact, I wear a number of different bib shorts depending upon the nature of the ride and the application, etc. with my ASOS shorts actually being my, my best and most prestigious shorts that I've got. So firstly, bib shorts. It's got to be bib shorts, and the reason for that is they don't move excessively during cycle rides. On, off the saddle, up and downhill, climbing, changing position on the bike. The fact that you've got the, the braces over your, your body, over your torso, means these shorts stay with you, they don't move around, and they stay as comfortable as possible during the ride. So my first recommendation is go for bib shorts. The next thing is that everyone's a bit different. It takes a bit of tuning to get the right shorts for you. And actually I find that different shorts work for me slightly differently. And I've experimented with a few, but I've ended up in a position where I have three main types of bib shorts or three main brands of bib shorts that I use. And I'm gonna talk you through those now. So the first one, the first set of bib shorts that I use are the cheapest ones that I use, and they tend to be for my commuting to work. It's about 50 minute to an hour and a quarter ride each way, depending upon which route I take and traffic conditions, etc. And I tend to wear my entry level big shorts for that commute. Here they are. So I have two pairs of these. These are B twin, so from Decathlon, B twin shorts. And these shorts are the B-Twin 700. They've got the 700 pad, which is their, their top level pad. Um, now, I find these very comfortable, certainly for up to about rides of an hour and a half. They're, they're cheap, they fit well, they wash well, and they're, a, they're a, a pretty good short. Now, I've actually found these, I've got two pairs, as I said, so I use them for commuting. I try and commute a couple of times a week. So that's what I use for commuting, the B-Twin 700 series. They have a 300, a 500, and a 700. Go for the 700 series, it's a much better pad. Um, these, I think, were 45 pounds, and I got them for 25 pounds in the sale. So a bit of a bargain, 25 pounds for a pair of bib shorts that you can use, that's pretty good. Okay, so what about longer rides? Well. For, for longer rides, I have a pair of these Castelli Velocimo um, that I wear for my intermediate length rides. So anything from about two hours up to three and a half hours, these are the shorts that I, I ride. And I've, these have really grown on me when I first got them and tried them on. My God, they, they just felt tiny they they, they they were really tight but actually they've they've literally grown on me and with me and i do find them a great short in fact i think these shorts are my faster shorts i don't know whether it's just psychological or whatever but i do tend to post my faster times faster segments on strava on my bike when i'm wearing these shorts i think it's coincidental but that's that that's the situation these are a medium and whilst they fit brilliantly now, as I said, they were quite, quite small when I first got them. So that's the Castelli bib short. And um, again, I got these, I think they retail at about 95 pounds or so. And I got them in a sale on one of the online retailers for, I think it was around about 50 quid. So a, a, great, a great bargain. And these are still in really good nick. These last for years. You'll see a lot of people who've got these and the, the Scorpion badge on them is, is really worn out. These, as you'll see, are still in quite good condition. So that's very good. So intermediary shorts, 
is the Castellis. Okay, so what do I ride my ASOS for? Well, I ride, I ride my ASOS shorts for best, if I'm honest. I got put onto these by a, a colleague who said that he had a pair of ASOS S5s. I tried to get the S5s and they weren't available. They've been replaced by the S7s. And I, I bought a pair of these. I've now got two pairs because I like them so much. Um, but so I, I've, I've got these. Now, these are premium shorts, obviously. I think they come in at about 130, 140 pounds. Um, they look very smart, they've got nice broad bands, they've got a low front so they're not uncomfortable when you're bent over. They are very comfortable to wear and I tend to wear these for the rides that are going to be over three hours because when it comes to three and a half, four hours in the saddle, these tend to be the, the most comfortable shorts I've got. They have this big ASOS pad which as I say is very comfortable and they've got this uh, this patented technology from ASOS, which is a golden gate floating bridge. So the padding actually isn't sewn all the way around to the shorts. I'm not sure if that's better or not. I think it's ASOS saving a few quid on the stitching, but either way it works for me. These are great shorts, very comfortable. So these shorts, the ones that I was wearing in that previous video, these are my best shorts and I, I do think they're great. It wouldn't be appropriate and proper in a video talking about bib shorts to not talk about a couple of other things. Uh, one is, okay, to wear pants or to go commando. Well, there is no question you've got to go commando when wearing bib shorts on a bike. I know this personally because I rode for about a year hanging on to the notion of wearing pants and I got so many more saddle sores, was so much less comfortable during rides, especially rides of over an hour, that when I've switched to going commando, no pants, I just find it immeasurably better. It's not a marginal gain, it's a mahoosive gain. Seriously, no, sh no pants, go commando when you are wearing bib shorts. If you're worried about it, don't be. I was, and I've, I've done it, and there's no issue, it's ace. Okay, two other things. One is what to do if you get a saddle sore. Well, I've had quite a few saddle sores when I was wearing pants. I don't tend to get them so much. But what I've found works a treat for me is a good old tub of, of your trusty Savlon. Yeah, applying it liberally in the areas that are affected when necessary. And that, given a couple of days, tends to uh, get it all sorted out. Okay, so that's if you get a saddle sore. But what about preventing them as well? Well, again, I was recommended this stuff, chamois cream. And ASOS chamois cream is great. So for any rides over two and a half hours or so, apply this stuff and it feels great. It's cooling, it's soothing, and it's comfortable. So since using this, I've certainly had a lot fewer saddle sores. So there you go. There's my take on bib shorts I would recommend having a few different pairs experimenting just as I would experimenting with saddles and getting what's right for you not there is no one solution but mine is the cheaper decathlon shorts for short rides commuting my Castelli shorts for my rides up to two and a half three hours and then my ASOS shorts for best rides and for long rides Mix that with a bit of chamois cream for longer rides. No pants and you're on to a winner. Big blue pants. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks again for the question. Once again, if you think that uh, it was any good, slam me a like. If you think it was rubbish or crappy, give me a dislike, a thumb down. And please do subscribe. I've got loads more things I'm keen to talk about. And I'd love you to be part of this journey. Thanks once again from CVP Studios in Studley, I'm Steve Baxter.